Have you ever encountered a corrupt SQL database BAK file and struggled to restore it? It can be a frustrating and time-consuming task, but fear not. In this video, we will show you how to restore a corrupt SQL database BAK file using the Stellar Repair for MS SQL software. Stellar Repair for MS SQL is a powerful tool that effortlessly recovers corrupt SQL database files, repairs BAK files, and efficiently extracts the databases from them. Install and launch the Stellar Repair for MS SQL software. This is the primary interface of the software to initiate repair process. Click on the Browse button to begin the repair process. Locate and select the corrupt BAK file that you wish to repair. If the file's location is unknown, you can utilize the Find option to search for it. Click on Repair to begin the scanning process. A dialog box with scan methods will appear. Choose Standard Scan for faster database recovery or Advanced Scan for a thorough recovery that saves both data and indexes. Click on the Repair button to initiate the scanning process. This action will prompt a dialog box displaying scan methods. Select the Standard Scan option for a quicker database recovery or choose the Advanced Scan option for a comprehensive recovery that preserves both data and indexes. After clicking on Repair, a pop-up window will display a success message once the database has been repaired successfully. The software interface shows the repair database, allowing you to preview recoverable objects by expanding folders. Efficiently save the restored database to a designated destination. The software provides the option to store the recovered data in various formats, including a new database, the existing live database, or alternative file formats such as CSV, HTML, and XLS. Select a new database from the available options. A pop-up window will appear, prompting you to enter the necessary details for server connection. Fill in the server name instance field. Choose the desired authentication method from the available options, Windows or SQL. Decide whether you want to export the database to the default SQL location or specify a new location. If you select the default SQL option, the path of the installed SSMS files will be visible. However, if you choose a different location, you need to provide the path to the SQL server files. If you choose the NUM option, make sure to install the database and provide the path to initiate the export operation. Click on Next. Once you initiate the repair process, a pop-up window will appear with two saving options, Fast Saving and Standard Scan. Fast Saving is recommended for larger databases as it saves data first and then indexes. Standard Scan involves saving data and index simultaneously. Choose the option that suits your needs. After selecting the desired option, click on the Save button to proceed. After saving, you need to select options for the database collation type which you need to choose. Then saving process starts and log files will be shown which are getting recovered. After selecting your preferred saving option, you'll need to choose the database collation type. This determines the rules for sorting and comparing data in the database. Select the appropriate collation type from the drop-down menu. Once you've made your selection, the saving process will begin. You will be able to see the progress through log files that are being recovered. In order to see if the file is repaired successfully and imported into SSMSs, you can see your database. Here you can see that the database has been repaired and can see the records. Download the software now and repair corrupt MSSQEL files easily. 